Hi, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is Dee, and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support as it is greatly appreciated. And the beeping of the horn confirms it. <laughs> okay? So, Gemini, this is a general reading for you which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. God most high, angel spirit, guides, beings, love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance and encouragement for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising? That's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light. Thank you. And as you've heard, there's cards that's jumping everywhere. So give me a second to get all of your cards, Gemini, out off the floor that jumped out of the deck. All right, so we'll get to your primary card in a minute, which is the Queen of Cups. So out of the deck, you have the chariot. So it's encouraging you to take action and move forward on your plans. There's no need to procrastinate. There's no need to compare yourself to anyone is what I'm hearing. Um, you are who you are and you can execute whatever your plans are and you can rest assured that you will have a successful outcome. So take a proactive action and just get moving. Even if you are afraid because this chariot driver, he looks a little afraid, a little not sure. Even if you're not sure, it's okay. Just get moving and you will have support from the spirit world and you'll also have support here in the earth realm so take a proactive action take a leap of faith is what i'm hearing right now to move forward on your plans whatever they are all right and also remember to have a balance in everything that you do because i feel like the white and the black stallion here black stallion and the white horse or white stallion Nevertheless, my point is that represents the yin and yang, having balance in what you do as you move forward. So no overworking, maintain balance in your schedule. All right, but, but move forward. It's time to get going. Also, what you had that jumped out of the duck is the nine of cups. And so you're going to have a successful outcome. It's going to exceed your expectations. And I feel like whatever it is that you are going to be moving forward with working on is going to be something that you are very passionate about as well. And so allow your passion to flow and know that you will have a successful outcome and also it's going to, whatever it is that you're working on is going to yield an abundance of joy and happiness for you. So it's going to be like a wish come true. All right. So everything is looking great for you. There's no need to fear. There's a need to get moving. Execute, execute, execute is what I'm hearing. All right. Because you're going to have Fulfillment is going to tell you, if you get going, it's going to be a successful outcome and everything is going to exceed your expectations. Oh, you got two nines. Okay, you have the nine of pentacles. So you already know that the nine of pentacles is all about none other than financial success. All right, so... Gemini, go ahead, get them coins, get that dough, get that money. <laughs> All right, so success, financial success. And why? Because you're going to get moving on your creative idea. You're going to execute on your plan, which is going to yield financial abundance, which is going to enhance your financial stability and or create financial stability so get going and did i mention again fulfillment complete fulfillment it's going to be very fulfilling emotionally 
and financially. And you have these two nines. Nines represent the completion of a cycle. It's an ending of an old cycle, beginning of a new one. And the new one is looking pretty darn good. So it's time to get moving, Gemini. And then you have the Queen of Cups, which is your primary card. And so you're being encouraged to uh, approach this new project or goal with your whole heart, right? Nurture it, give it the time it needs. And also those who are around you who may be supporting you, give them the time that they need as well but certainly invest the time that your project or goal, your venture, whatever it is that you're working towards, give it the nurturing energy that it needs. All right, see how she's holding this cup to her, close to her chin. No, it's resting on her body. So she's holding it near to her because it's dear to her. That rhymes, Gemini. But anywho, the point is she's holding on to this cup as to reflect how passionate she is about whatever it is in this cup or the mere fact that it's something that's dear to her. And so nurture whatever it is that you are going to be executing nurture it with care be kind to yourself be kind to others don't overwork right that's being kind to yourself and be gentle with yourself as you go through this process you're going to have a successful outcome i'm telling you these are all amazing cards and remember these three jumped out of the deck so this is major information for you and I feel like you've been just procrastinating, just procrastinating. And the chariot, the chariot is a major arcana card. So this is going to have lasting effect, a lasting effect. Whatever action you take now is going to have a lasting effect. And that's what you want. You want it to have a lasting effect, a lasting successful effect at that. All right, Gemini. This is awesome. I'm excited for you. Let's get your final card. So you have the scales. So I feel like this goes back to me speaking about there being a balance that you not over exert yourself. Make sure you make time for yourself. So make sure that you have that balance. Remember I talked about the yin and yang? This is confirmation that there's a need for that as you go forward. And also, if you have a court case that you are involved in, or if you feel like you have not received justice in a situation, you will, you will receive that justice, okay? And there will be documentations that will support your situation, which will ultimately result in there being justice for you if you're dealing with a court case and or if you are dealing with a, in a situation, not dealing in a situation, a part of a situation where you've been trying to express your thoughts, your feelings, and present to others your perspective, which supports why you are justified in your position, but it appears they wouldn't listen to you. But don't, don't worry, don't fret. You will receive justice and there will be supporting documentation. Rather, the documentation come from you or someone else that will support you in receiving this justice. But make sure that the scales are balanced as you 
embark on your goal, your new adventure, your task, whatever your plans are. All right, Gemini, so this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for joining me here. Take good care of yourself. And if you're not already subscribed, please press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, give this message a thumbs up and leave me a comment down in the comment section or a blue heart emoji. That would be greatly appreciated. And or leave some pentacles down in the comment section. Some coins, emoji of coins. That would be great too. Just to let me know how this message resonated with you. All right, Gemini. So this is your message. Take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. Peace and blessings to you. Bye for now.